Before the age of 21, I wasn't very good with personal finances. If you had known me as a friend, I'll be giving these excuses such as why take a $5 per hour job at a restaurant when you know once we start working full time, we'll be earning a much higher per hour rate. We might as well be spending a night out. We might as well be having a good time as teenagers. Now, my parents were very thrifty people. They didn't teach me a lot about personal finance, but what happened to my dad is he actually had a medical condition that disrupted his entire retirement. He had actually just gone into retirement just a year before. So that medical condition really had a big impact on me. It really reshaped my approach. I thought everything could be planned. I thought retirement is uh, an entitlement to anyone, but that's not actually true because we never know where our own health can turn. So that really reshaped my focus. That really gave me a, a desire and urgency to reach financial freedom as early as possible so that I can potentially achieve you know, this retirement dream that I had. So that really impacted me in a lot of ways. And I started to look for jobs at the point of time. And once I got started working around, I started to build my first income. And very naturally, when I have understood the, the financial services industry, I got attracted to this industry. And this has been my career for the last 14 years, simply because where else better to know about retirement? Where else better to impact people on retirement than the financial services industry? So I actually started my journey in financial services as an undergraduate. And I remember at the point of time, most of my friends were having a good time out, but I was actually using all my spare weekends to actually work and to meet people. When, when you're in financial services or any sales job, it really doesn't matter your age, it really doesn't matter your credentials. Once you're able to influence people, once you're able to impact and you're willing to put in the hard work, you can get rewarded. And that's naturally my direction because I want to be rewarded early, I want to build my first pot of income very quickly. So in a lot of ways, I, I feel that personal finance is something that is thrown upon us at, at some point of time. It's very difficult for anyone to learn it urgently, but some some incidents can impact anybody's decision towards personal finance. We all have our own background. You may have your own background also. And I remember back at the time, my friends were also thinking, why was I working? But because they, those that are not close to me would have known what had happened to my family. So at the point of time, I started getting the income and the first thing that I pinned up on my board was to actually get a car before I graduated. In fact, I did achieve that in my last year of graduation, before graduation, I actually bought my first car, a small Toyota car. In some ways, it was prudent. In some ways, it was not prudent. It was prudent because the Toyota car was about the cheapest there is. It could help me. It was my leverage to delivering more value to the market because simply I was faster. I can reach more places. But it was also a, a, a bad debt simply because it is something that will suck out monthly income from my own total income itself. So personal finance relates to understanding how much you earn, understanding how much you need to save to reach financial freedom and cutting your expenses to the bare minimum. Cars in a lot of ways are a luxury item. Cars in a lot of ways, if you feel it's an entitlement, it may not be so. Nonetheless, I bought that car and while I was happy owning it, it also, also taught me a very important lesson. If you have expenses and liabilities, they are going to derail you in terms of financial freedom. At the point of time, there was 0% interest cost, 0% down payment charges for car. I took that option up simply because I didn't want to expand any of my capital that I built up. I wanted to invest very aggressively. That was a point of time was about 2006. So markets were doing pretty well. At the point of time, the car effective interest was about 4%. So I figured if I could deliver more in terms of my investment pot, wouldn't it make more sense to actually take on more loans and actually keep whatever I have invested in the markets as much as possible. Not only that, I used leverage, I used margin to actually borrow more to get more invested because simply I had done well for a small period of time. So that was another lesson in terms of personal finance for me. I got a first taste of what using leverage is. I got a first taste to if you invest with other people's money, leverage can be a double edged sword. You can make more and you can you can lose more. So 2008 came along and I actually lost quite a bit because markets were very bad and I was on margin. Thankfully, I was still working hard. I was still putting in a lot of effort. So I was getting that income. And a lot of times I had to top out on margin calls simply because my investment exposure was incorrect. So that, that was also a very important lesson to me to understand wealth is not, not a, a sprint. Wealth is a marathon. To build, to build your wealth, if you take shortcuts, you, you likely derail yourself. Wealth is, wealth is rewarded on someone who has patience. That reshaped a lot of how I, how, how I look at personal finance. After that crisis, I invested slow and steady. After that crisis, I speculated a lot less. And that's why, that's why I advocate on this channel a lot, on proper investing. That's why I advocate in this channel to really view wealth as an eventual growth to reach financial freedom. But getting there requires just simple steps and not rushing and making wrong, wrong decisions. So that, that is my quick sharing for today. I understand that two-thirds of millennials 
are still admitting to splurging on nights out and fashion and that's why personal finance is a topic that if parents don't teach coming to channels to youtube to understand and hear other people's journey is a very important part of learn, learning journey that's why i'd like to invite you to, to our channel because we'll be discussing more on investments dis discussing more on personal finance and how to get to financial freedom eventually if you like this video smash on like button so that more people can hear this story with that i'll sign off take care and goodbye